Back in 1993, the World Foundation for Natural Science began to warn the world about the dangers of microwave technology. And today I'm glad to say that I'm joined by scientists and microwave expert Barry Trower. Barry, thank yes, you for joining us. it's my pleasure. It really is my pleasure. I understand you have a wealth of experience with microwaves. Can you begin by explaining to us how you began your career in microwave technology? Yes, of course. Um, in 1960, I was in the Royal Navy, and I, I worked partly with the underwater bomb disposal unit, partly with microwave warfare, and some of the other time with radar. Microwaves were involved in all of those three different areas. So, whilst I was in the Royal Navy, I trained in all aspects of microwave technology uh -huh. and as anybody will tell you that's been in the forces uh, the training you receive is second to none uh, you you practice it you talk about it all day you sleep it um, so since 1960 I have been involved in all aspects of microwave technology after that uh, a part of my job because I had microwave expertise was to question captured spies during the Cold War when Russia and America were within seconds of global nuclear war and microwaves by then were really sophisticated stealth weapons and a part of my job was to find out from any spies who had been captured, uh, what the current knowledge was in that part of the world. Since then, I've taught advanced physics, which of course involves microwave lectures and technology. I was commissioned by the Police Federation to write the safety report on their microwave equipment twice, the last one was the updated one, and I have had a series of papers published which are all on the internet, and currently I travel the world free of charge, uh, trying to advise governments, councils, people, royalty, anybody, about the sensible way to use microwaves and not the dangerous way which involves children, animals being harmed. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> just for the benefit of people who aren't fully aware, in what walks of life nowadays could you expect to encounter microwaves? Microwaves are used instead of radio waves for all communication systems. Uh, your mobile telephone or cell phone uses microwaves. The microwave towers are almost on every street corner. Along the motorway you have the emergency services, microwave transmitters. Yeah. The microwaves are now everywhere. And microwaves succeeded radio waves because Microwaves will penetrate buildings, that they will go through concrete, brick, anything, whereas radio waves won't. You need a, an aerial on the roof for radio waves, but for microwaves you don't. They will just go straight through your house. And of course what people don't understand is if they're going straight through your house, they're also going straight through you. And is that dangerous? We're told by the government that they're safe. <clears throat> Is there scientific proof to show that they're not safe? There are some 8,300 papers, to my knowledge, going back to 1971, where it was proven in government documents that low-level microwaves will cause injury. The main symptom for microwave sickness, it is usually... Uh, suppression of the immune system first, followed by neurological problems where the brain is being affected, depression, suicidal tendencies, 
you will have more colds, more coughs, longer colds, longer coughs. And then at the other end of the line, if you are unfortunate, uh, lymphoblastic leukemia or something in that area. Uh, it affects, in order of uh, people, <clears throat> it is always the embryo and children who are affected most seriously and first, followed by women without being sexist because they have very complicated hormonal systems uh, that are affected by microwave technology. Uh, then usually the sick and the elderly and finally fit young men. So th there is in fact an established pattern for microwave sickness. Uh, and you mentioned cancers. Have we seen an increase in the number of cancers? Oh yes, and, and going back to your previous question, there is absolute proof there are, to my knowledge to date, there are four High Court judgments proving that low-level microwaves will cause cancer. There are 12 epidemiological studies showing that people who live around transmitters, particularly within 500 metres, will get more cancer, more neurological and psychiatric illnesses than people who don't. And there are, to my knowledge, 19, 20 if you count my latest one, there are 19 published legal judgments, not high courts, but legal judgments from mayors, councils, magistrates, ordering transmitters to be taken down where it is believed that they have caused cancer to the local population. So there is lots of proof and two of the epidemiological studies, and by that I mean for anyone who's not sure of the word, a study for about 10 years studying all of the doctor's records, all of the populations. <clears throat> Two of them were carried out by the industry itself on its own product. And its own conclusion was that these microwaves can cause cancer. So uh, there is plenty of proof, uh, government proof, legal proof, research proof. Uh, there is enough proof as to win high court cases, and people are. Can I just clarify <clears> that? <throat> um, the industry's own research has shown that their product, mobile phones, Wi-Fi, transmitters, cause cancer. Oh, absolutely. Um, it, it's the, the most famous one was the ECLOG, known as the ECLOG report. And their conclusion, it was carried out by T-Mobile, and their conclusion was that these microwaves can trigger the cancer promoters and cancer initiators in the body. And the industry's, one of the industry's other research projects showed that microwaves affected children to the point where children would lose sleep because they can activate the brain. The microwaves can accelerate and activate the brain. And children would lose sleep and published research in Scientific American Mind actually shows that when children lose sleep, they can become depressed and suicidal uh, very, very quickly. In fact, I can tell you one story, if I may. Yes, when I was in South Africa uh, speaking, a teacher of 30 years and this is on the internet. <clears throat> a teacher of 30 years was the speaker behind me. <clears throat> and he said that in, in South Africa, he said childhood suicides were unknown. Mm -hmm. Misbehavior to the extent of severe aggression was unknown in South Africa. And he said as soon as the transmitter went up near his school, they started to have psychiatric problems with the children and he said today, he said, all of my children, all 30 in my class are now on Ritalin for poor behaviour. 
That's the whole class is on Ritalin. That's incredible. Uh, Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm almost speechless. Mm. Um, so we have the industry admitting that their technology is causing disease. Cancer. We're seeing, illnesses, yes. we're seeing children being effective in, in hyperactivity. Yes. Why then do we still have this technology? What, what's stopping it being removed? The industry is believed to be earning some three trillion United States dollars a year. <clears throat> three thousand billion dollars a year. And it is my opinion, I will have an opinion because it protects you legally, it is my opinion that when you have that amount of money coming in, I mean, just imagine on a daily basis how much is flowing in. <clears throat> yeah. You have the ability to not only hire Land Rovers full of top lawyers who can argue cases for you, you can buy governments and you can threaten people uh, with all sorts of things because you have so much power and the allies of the industry are the secret services of the governments, hence the governments. Because with this technology, not only can the secret services of any country listen to every single thing you are saying through your cell phone, but they can also follow everywhere you go. So they know everywhere you go and everything you are saying, and they can monitor the words of every single meeting that you sit down at. You're, so, you're not seriously telling me that my government is following everybody's movements? They have the ability to. I do know that every single phone call is recorded and logged. Every phone call? Every single mobile phone call is recorded. Every single one. They have, whether they are interested in you, I don't know. Yeah. Whether they want you followed, I don't know. But they have the ability to do it. So if you have, <clears throat> let's, let's just say you have um, people who legally and rightfully oppose government policy, like me. Yeah. <clears throat> what they can do is they can have everywhere you go followed, every single phone call recorded, they can monitor everybody you talk to, so they will know your whole operation which gives them an advantage if they want to clamp down on you. Yeah. 